Surah Al-Fatiha has everything. Whatever we read in the Quran, it's everything in uh, brief summary is in Surah Al-Fatiha. What is in the Quran? It's about Allah, the oneness of Allah. What is in the Quran is the praise of Allah, the glorification of Allah, the magnification of Allah. What is in the Quran? It's mentioned about the Day of Judgment, that oh, whatever you do in this life, you will be answerable for this on the Day of Judgment. There will be four questions will be asked on the Day of Judgment. Where do you spend your life? Where do you spend your youth? The knowledge you have, how much you utilize on this knowledge, and how you earn your money, and how you spend it. So these are the questions on the Day of Judgment. We are here for the test, and then we are preparing for the questions to be answered on the Day of Judgment. And then... There is a purpose of the life in Surah Fatiha. You alone we worship. You alone we are slave. What is the purpose of our life? Is to follow the commandments of Allah. The God who gives us a life, follow His commandments. Eating with moderation and halal food is a command of Allah. Drinking the halal drinks, it's a command of Allah. Sleeping until the Fajr, it's a command of Allah. Wake up on Fajr time. Marrying is the command of Allah and not to have any relation without marriage. So everything is the command of Allah. Praying five times a day is a command of Allah. Fasting in month of Ramadan is command of Allah. Speaking the truth is the command of Allah. Be honest, be kind, be generous. These are the commandments of Allah. Be fair, be just, and not to be unjust. And uh, and then we are very weak and we always need the assistance of Allah. We always need the help of Allah. So we are asking Help of Allah, Panalang uh, in the dua, supplication. Best of the thing we need from Allah is a guidance. That's why the next words in the Surah Fatiha, Ehidina Surah Al Mustaqim, guide us to the straight way. What I need in my life is guidance. What we need in our lives is guidance. Guidance for everything. Guidance to how to grow up as a good child. Guidance to how to become a good son or the good daughter. Or guidance to become a good father or good mother. Or guidance to become a good husband or good wife, or good brother, or good sister. Everything you need the guidance. Guidance to become a good businessman. Guidance to become a good neighbor. Guidance to become a good relative. Guidance to become a good human being. So every need you need the guidance. All the moment, since we born, until we will be depart to the another world, we always need the guidance of Allah. That's why we are asking Allah, guide us to the straight way. And the straight way is to following the commandments of Allah. And the way of those on whom you best put your reward. Who are those people who are rightly guided? The prophets, the Siddiqin, the truthful people, Salihin, the righteous people, and the martyrs. Those who give their lives in the way of Allah. غير المغضوبي, nor of those who earned your anger. And we don't want to follow the guidance, the way of those who were angered by Allah. So they were misguided. And nor of the way of those who were misguided, those who were idol worshippers. And we can say, Amin. So that is the perfect teaching there in Surah Fatiha. The perfect dua and perfect way of life. Yesterday topic was very good topic. And it's about accountability. Even one peso, even one centavo, even a smallest thing, even just a ball pen matter of ball pen or a sleeper. A small thing. You need to be answered that on the day of judgment. Example, I was saying the example yesterday. If you go to someone's place and you are charging your phone without their permission, you are stealing. You become a thief now because you use the current of someone without their permission. If somebody is giving you some money to buy something, you must return the same exact amount, whatever was remaining. If you get from your company some money for the purpose, for gas or for food, and if you don't do that purpose and you just pocket your money, that is also stealing. You have become a thief now. So you need to be always uh, accountable. Example, you pay someone less money for the product and you forget it. Later you remember, go back to the store and pay the full money. Or example, you give more money to someone, the person should return you that you give me more money. Kanina, we were in SM. I gave 7,000 to the uh, cashier and the bill was around 3,600. I thought it's 6,000. It's 6,000 or... 7,000 something. So I gave her 7,000. She returned me 3,000. This is very honest. This is very good. So that's very important, these things. We cannot get the people's money, the people's things. Not even one sitabo. Not even one peso. Not just a ball pen. We need to 
always ask permission and not to use the things of the people without their permission and not to get the money of the people. And if you have, you need to pay. If you get loan from someone, you should return it. You are not supposed to pay the interest, but the actual money you should pay back the people you are borrowing. You borrow the car or you borrow something or a cell phone from anyone. You need to take care and you have to give them in a good condition. So these are the very important, which is a part of the Malik Yomitin. The Allah is a honor of the day of judgment and he will ask us if you abuse people's right then Allah will ask us and we have to pay for this with our good deeds and if you lack the good deeds on the day of judgment then you will be going in the hellfire but if your good deeds are more than your bad deeds then you will be going in the paradise so we don't need to collect the bad deeds and rather we need to collect the good deeds not to back by people for example a person said the Chinese are bad people and now you are backbiting 1.5 billion people in China, there are 1.5 billion people and you backbited them. So how many sins you have? Your sins are 1.5 billion sins in your account now. Just to generalize the people. Or some foreigner can come and say, say Filipinos are not good. And then you are backbiting 111 million people. Just for one word. And you have a bad deeds of 111 million bad deeds in your account. So imagine these are the things journalizing people or journalizing, accusing people or backbiting people or slandering people or saying the bad words to people. You are keep on increasing your bad deeds, the sins and how you can go to paradise when you have a lot of sins and you have a, nothing to present a good deeds or a small amount of good deeds on the day of judgment. So do good, collect more and more good deeds. So we will be entitled to go to paradise and avoid the sins. Repent whenever you do sin and always to focus on doing the good deeds and not sin because you, our target to please Allah so Allah can bring us to in paradise in Jannah to in next life and not to throw us in hellfire. May Allah guide.